Falls. Meanwhile, in Grand Falls, Windsor, the Cornerbrook Royals lost two, giving the Cataracts a two-game lead heading into next weekend. Here's NTV's Colleen Lewis to bring us some of the highlights. The Cataracts hit the ice at the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium on Sunday with two wins already under their belt, including one from Saturday's game against the Cornerbrook Royals, which ended 6-3. The first period of Sunday's game passed with no score by either the Cats or the Royals. But halfway through the second, things began to heat up. At around the nine-minute mark, the Cataracts' Brad Rice was the first to score. Then near the end of the second, fans were out of their seats as the benches were emptied and a brawl erupted among the two teams. of an intense second period. The Cataracts' Brad Lewis was on fire with two back-to-back -back goals, making the score 3-0. In the third period, the Cats' Chris Pittman collected two goals along with another from Mitch Oak, making the score 6-0. But the Royals didn't give up. Stephen Hines and Darren Colburn came back late in the third to score one each, making the final score 6-2. Cataract's coach Barry Manuel was pleased with his team, but he also believes the Royals' lack of discipline was a factor in the win. Uh, things got pretty rough during the uh, end of the second period, and obviously we came out on top. Uh, I think their lack of discipline showed there, and uh, we ended up getting a lot of power play goals during the third period. I'm proud of the guys working hard all weekend, uh, but the series not over. We're not going to get too uh, comfortable with ourselves yet until we win four games, not three. Um. Well, for a period there, we, or a couple periods, we had a good game going. We were down one nothing, fighting our way into a game, and uh, things got out of control. I guess we uh, took the play to them too much. Uh, there was a bit of a melee. We, we got the worst end of it, and it ended up uh, getting killed on the power play. Uh, on discipline, yes, uh, something that I guess you call a redemption for what happened a, a game ago, but uh, I guess it looked at a backfire on us, and now we're down 3-1, and it's going to be a tough one to battle back on. The Cataracts and the Deer Lake Red Wings now lead in the West Coast Senior Hockey League semi-final series 3-1 each against the Royals and the Clarenville Caribous. The Cataracts travel to Cornerbrook on Friday, and if there's a need for Game 7, they'll travel back to Grand Falls, Windsor on Saturday. The Red Wings and the Caribous will play in Deer Lake on Friday night. For NTV News, I'm Colleen Lewis in Grand Falls, Windsor.